In this video, I will show you the only process you will ever need to create content using ChatGPT that will rank on Google extremely fast. Now, if this interests you, watch the video to the very end. I'm also going to be giving you a free script that will allow you to convert average content to high ranking content in just a few clicks. You'll find the entire process down in the description, so feel free to check that out. There will also be a link to a more detailed reference guide that looks just like this. So the first step is we want to use Google's Keyword Planner. If we go across to Google Ads, we go to Tools, Keyword Planner, just click on Discover New Keywords. What we're looking for is a keyword that is trending. It's getting a bit of traffic. So I'm going to try Bing Chat because popular topic at the moment. Get the results. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see this one here, Bing Chat GPT. It's between 100 and 1,000 searches a month. Three month change, it's up 900% and it's got low competition. So this is perfect for our, our new piece of content. So now that we've identified our key phrase, our keyword, we just want to copy it. And we're going to go over to Google and Google it. Bing Chat GPT. The next step, we're just going to copy People also ask so that we can get an idea of the other questions around this particular keyword. And we're going to take those and we are going to just put them in a text file. So the next thing we want to do is just have a look at a couple of the high ranking articles here on the first page. And the one that I like is this one here. It's by ZDNet and they have a couple of articles in a series around being chat. So I'm just going to take note of this URL. Okay, so on the right here, I've got my text document. We can see we've got our keyword, which is Bing Chat GPT. We've got the people also ask questions here. And I've also got this high ranking reference article, which is this ZDNet article. Now you might notice on the left here, we've actually got Bing open. And the reason I'm going to use Bing for this very first part, and I don't always do this, but for this particular case, we are going to have to because the topic is very recent and Chat GPT doesn't have the most up-to-date information within its model. So we'll use Bing to, to draft our first piece of content, and then we will head back to J chat GPT. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I've got a couple of prompts here that I'm going to enter in. I've got this first one here, just to prep it a bit. When we go to, to Bing, just make sure that you have this set to creative, not balanced, and you'll get a much better article. So I'll just enter the first prompt in here. So Pretend you're an SEO expert and you can write high ranking content in English. I'll give you an article title and you will write an in-depth article using the most recent information available. Do you understand? And it comes back and tells me that it understands and all that is good. So I'll put the next prompt in now. So in this prompt, I'm just telling it I need at least two paragraphs per heading. I need some bullet points and also that the article this first cut needs to be between 600 and 1,000 words. And the reason for that is our reference article is in that range. And then I ask it, do you understand? And of course, it comes back and says, that's not a problem. Okay, so now let's enter in and get our first draft. The article title is Bing ChatGPT AI. Generate the first draft. Okay, so that's our first draft. It is a little bit on the thin side, so we're going to put one more instruction in. So now this is where we ask it to rewrite the article and add our frequently asked questions in that we got from Google. So Bing has generated our content using the latest information, and it's also giving us some references to other articles that we can get more information, which is really useful. And we're going to come back to that a little bit later. So let's just copy this content and we'll put it into a Word document. So the next step is what we want to do is go to our high ranking reference article, which was this one here. And I've just got it open here. So this is the ZDNet article, which is ranking on the first page of Google for the keyword that we are going after. So what we are going to do is extract all the text from, from this article and also put it in a document. So to extract the text, you can just do the basic old, highlight it and copy it and paste it to your document, 
or you can use a tool like converter.io where if you pass the URL of a reference article, select structured and hit go. It'll actually extract all the text from the article and put it into a markdown format, which is easy to, to read. And so like in this example, if you put a URL in, you get all the content out, including the table of contents, the headings, etc. So very easy to extract and then you just hit copy. So at this point, this is where things get really interesting and this is what's going to blow your mind. So on the left, we have the article that Bing has generated using the latest information around Bing Chat GPT AI. On the right, we have the article that's currently ranking on the first page of Google for that keyword. So what we're going to do now is use a script that you can install on your own machine. It's totally free. It is going to do the magic. Now, there are a couple of things we need to do to be able to run this script. First thing you need to do is head to Visual Studio Code's download page. I will leave a link in the description. It is 100% free. If you're on Windows, you can download it for Windows or Mac or whatever you like. Just download it and install it. Next thing we need to do is download Python. So just go to python.org, 100% free, and download Python for your operating system. So the next step is we need to get the script. To do that, just head to the ambitious hub page here. I'll leave a link in the description. Just scroll down a little bit and you will see this one here, LSI and High Frequency Keyword Extractor. Just click on that and then click the link. And then we get to the setup instructions. And you only have to do this once. Now, as you can see, I've just got Visual Studio Code open on the left. I've got the instructions on the right. So let's quickly do this one-off setup. So we have our VS Code installed. We have Python installed in the terminal window. Just open it up and do this pip install NLTK and also for this other package here, which is pip install SCI kit dash learn. Once those installed, we have all the prerequisites. Next, we just create these four files, keyword SEO analysis.txt, new content.txt, ranked article.txt, and SEO.py. And you can see that they're all set up over here now. Alrighty, now this is where the fun begins. If we scroll down a little bit here on our Word document here, we will get all the code we need. So let's just copy the code and then head over to Visual Studio. Just click on the SEO PY file and just paste it in. And there you go. We have our script ready to run. Now it's important in Visual Studio, if you get a little dot up here and it says a number one, it means you haven't saved the file. So we just need to save this. Otherwise it won't recognize the change. So that's all locked in now. We've only got two things left to do. That is, we add our new content into this file here, and we add our ranked article content into this file here. So let's grab that content now. So the first one I will grab is our new content we've generated. I'll copy this. We just want to paste it into the file new content.txt. And now we'll grab the ranked article and do the same into the new ranked article.txt file. I'll copy this one, paste this into the ranked article.txt file. So that's okay. So we'll just press save on both of these files. Now, what's actually going to happen when we execute this file, the script is going to compare the high ranking document with our document, and it's going to give us a bunch of suggestions. It's going to extract all the LSI keywords from the ranked article. It's also going to extract all the high frequency keywords, and it's going to give us some suggested key phrases and keywords that we can use to improve our, our new content. So let's run the script. To run it, you just simply type in python seo.py. And you will get some sign of confirmation that SEO keyword analysis.txt has been generated. So let's take a look. So here we go. At the very top, you can see it has extracted these LSI keywords. We've got Bing, Bing Chat, Chat, GPT, Microsoft, etc. Now, if there is any weird words that appear in here, you can just take them out. So we don't use them in the next step. We've got high frequency SEO keywords that have been extracted from ranked article.txt. So that makes sense, right? You've got AI, also, maybe yeah. announcements, Bing, Build, Chat, GPT, 
etc. So that is looking pretty good. Next, this is the high frequency keyword analysis of the ranked article versus new content. And what we're seeing here is in brackets, it tells us how many times this keyword has been used in our new content and how many times we need to increase it to match the count of the frequency in the ranked article. Now, this is important. Some of you might be thinking this is like a very um, simplistic version of something like Neuron Writer or Surfy, Surfer SEO. And that's exactly what it's doing. The next bit of information we've got here is the suggested keywords to include in our new content and also the top 20 suggested key phrases to you. Now we are going to use this information with ChatGPT and it is going to update our content to include high frequency keywords, LSI keywords, so that we can match and beat the ranking of our reference ranked article. Okay, now we're over in ChatGPT and we are going to use the power of AI to update our new content with the keywords and the LSI information that we have extracted using our script. So if you open up the custom instructions and I will leave both of these custom instructions in the description, we can see at the top here, it says, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide a better response? So I've just explained that I create SEO articles for my website. I review them and I scan them for LSI keywords and high frequency keywords. And if I give you a draft article, I expect you to update them with LSI keywords and high frequency keywords. Down here where it says, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? I've repeated some of these this key information. And basically what it says is that if I give you a listing of LSI keywords and high frequency keywords and key phrases, you need to update the content to reflect this in a similar frequency so that there are similarities in terms of the LSI keywords and the frequency of keywords throughout the article. And if we scroll down a bit, you can see these are the LSI keywords that have come from our script. The high frequency keywords have come from the script. And also we have key phrases that have come from the script. So every time you do this process, basically the only thing you have to do is update the LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords and the key phrases. So we're just going to press save on this and then I'm going to enter into ChatGPT. I need you to update an article based on custom instructions. Do you understand? And as you can see, it responds. It says, yes, I understand your custom instructions for updating the article. Go ahead and provide me with the LSI keywords, the high frequency keywords and specific key phrases that you would like throughout your new article as instructed. So I'll just grab the draft article we got from Bing. Okay, I'll paste in our draft article and let it do its thing. Now, this is an extremely impressive piece of content. ChatGPT has been able to, to redraft it based on our specific custom instructions. And at the end, it does confirm that it now includes exactly what we wanted. We wanted these keywords and key phrases. We wanted the LSI keywords and we wanted these high frequency keywords at the same frequency as our reference article. This is a really great piece of content and we are going to publish this. But before we do it, we do need to finish this off. We're, the content is the main piece, but we can also use ChatGPT to get our table of content. So let's get that so we can use it as well. And you can see here why it's generating our table of contents. It is addressing these common questions. So people also ask these specifically are going to appear multiple times through our article. In addition to our keyword, which we know is getting a lot of traffic. So this is going to help us rank really high on Google. While we're here, we're also going to get the meta title and the meta description. Okay. So I've just said, please provide the SEO meta title and meta description for our article. And here we go. We're going to use this in our CMS. And there's probably only one more thing we need to do. And that is to get some images for our content. We're not going to use stock images. We're going to generate some images using image creator in Bing, which is powered by Dali E3. So I'm just going to put a prompt in here and it's going to be Bing chat GPT AI, a modern office futuristic. And we want it in the style of digital art. So I'll just hit create. And now, as you can see, we have 
four really good pieces of artwork or images to, to include in our content. So I will download those and then we're going to bring this all together, publish it and then force the ranking of it on Google. We need to also get some links to other articles that we can include with our content. And this also helps the algorithm, particularly with the new update to do with helpful content. We want to get some links within this article, or at least at the bottom that users can link off to that helps improve that reader experience. Just at the end of this article, which was generated, I'm just going to ask it, can you provide four or five links to other content that a user might like to read? So this is the prompt I've put in. Can you provide four or five links to articles that are related to this content that are ranking high on search engines? So these links are excellent. We're going to be using them within our content to make our article just that much better. And remember, you don't have to be the best article on Google, but you do have to be better than your competition. Here's our finished product. It is published on my blog site, mangojuice.app. If we click on the article, we can take a bit of a look. You can see these are the images, or very similar to the images I generated. We have a table of contents. We're using the proper the H1, the H2, and all the breakdown of all the best practice in terms of what Google likes to see in a structured document. Second images. We also have this section down here, which is really important, which is addressing common questions. And this has come from the people also asked in Google. Further down, we also have some links that we got from Bing or ones that are very similar to them. There's probably only one final step left to make sure this article gets indexed and ranked really quickly. And that is forcing the indexing on Google Search Console. So let's just take a look at that. So just over on Google Search Console, I have entered in the URL and you can do that under URL inspection. And it's saying it's not on Google yet. So all we need to do to get it onto Google and get it indexed, get it ranked is hit this button here, request indexing. This new post has now been requested for indexing from Google. I would expect it to be indexed within 48 hours and it should start ranking on Google not long after that. If you like this video, maybe give it a like. If you would like to check out how you can generate unlimited SEO programmatic titles using another script I developed, check out this video here and I'll catch you in the next one.